quality of a full-time student when she has three tests in one week, this is what it results in. interested in working out your glutes I don't know why so I thought I would totally show you guys how I do that I do it a little bit different than everybody else because um, you'll see that I actually kind of try to keep my glutes activated my entire workout with the glute band like my glute band workouts go throughout that um, I don't do that in my workout programs that I've designed like the new one that I'm designing right now it's about to come out um, I didn't do it in that one because it's something that some people don't like and I feel like it's a customed 
you have to get accustomed to it so i don't include it in there but i am going to include it in here so if you guys are interested in that type of glute workout where you're constantly using the band to activate your glutes like you know you can do like i would say there's about 10 glute focused exercises to get glute activation with the band you can do multiple other ones but i'm going to show you guys what i usually do to keep my glutes activated the entire time because i have such a hard time targeting my glutes my quads are just so strong and so powerful that they just overrun the whole show so i have to work really hard and really think about mind muscle connection <coughs> like the mind and muscle connection or muscle mind connection um to try to tell myself okay squeeze your glutes squeeze your glutes squeeze your glutes work through your glutes pull through your hamstrings flex the glutes you know i have to really do that through my workout um but yeah I'm going to go ahead and drive to the gym and I will see you guys there for a full blown glute workout with me. All right, guys, the first exercise I did was sumo deadlifts, which are extremely helpful when trying to activate and grow your glutes. I find that this is much more helpful than just sumo, um, not sumo, a regular deadlift, um, like a traditional one. Um, sumos really target the glutes. Make sure you're pulling through your hamstrings, squeezing your glutes at the top, and always make sure to keep your back and spine in line all the way from the top of your head all the way down to your hips. those I was able to do about four reps and about two sets activation exercise I'm gonna throw in here for you guys um, this is the three step tap movement there's a bunch of different names for it but you just want to make sure you're going in and out three different directions front side and back this one really really activates my glutes I love this one it is probably in my top three favorites I should also mention that I actually did superset this with the sumo deadlifts. This really helps me just engage my glutes on those deadlifts and really work through them instead of the quads. Set. I did banded hip thrusts with a dumbbell. Sometimes I will do these with the barbell and I will not put the band on there. But like I said, I really wanted to make sure I was activating my glutes. And sometimes even on those hip thrusts, my glute or my quads are the dominant muscle worker. So I just wanted to make sure I was focusing on those glutes, really pushing through them, squeezing. And you could definitely tell by my face that I am definitely thinking about doing that. I just superset it with a super simple air squat. Make sure that spine is staying in a neutral position in a straight line. I did these quick. I never wanted to lock my knees out. I just wanted to be a constant move for 12 reps. Just 
just like I did for the sumo deadlifts. I put even a heavier dumbbell on my hips and tried to do as many reps as I could. I think I ended up doing about eight reps total and guys, I was dying by the end of this. I just wanted to cry. Next up, we are doing super simple step ups, but guys, these are killer. Make sure you're working on really making these moves slow. Slow. You don't want to make them super powerful. You want more of that eccentric movement to be slow and steady and really working through the glutes to get down onto the ground. Supersetting them with single leg hip thrusts. Make sure to keep that weight in the heel. As you can see, I flick my toes up, sometimes even really rocking that weight back down on my heel. So I keep that weight there. Activate those glutes, squeezing them up at the top, trying to get those hips up towards the ceilings. As you can tell, I'm kind of throwing my legs up there. Um, I don't recommend doing that, but I was so dead by this time that I just wanted to get the exercise done. But you can kind of see how I slowed it down towards the end. Like right now, it's more slow and controlled once I figured out that I should not be just like skipping away. <laughs> Next up on the agenda is doing some wide stance leg press. As you can tell, my legs are more up towards the top of the plate and also very wide apart. This is really working on the hamstrings more so than your quads. If you pull those legs closer together, you'll be focusing on your quads more. Shells. These are killer for the glutes, guys. It also works your upper body a little bit. As you can see, I'm adjusting my hand a little bit. Um, but these are really good. You want to make sure that you're opening your legs and closing your legs as you go up and down and not separating the movements. workout still haven't fixed my hair I don't know if I'm gonna fix it before work probably because this looks raggedy it even looks more raggedy than it was when I went in uh, that just means I worked really hard <laughs> but that is my workout for today like I said it was glute focused it was definitely a rough one I was definitely struggling for a while to get through it I was like ow this hurts but at the same time it felt so good to be able to be in the gym and be able to give it my all without not feeling like I'm gonna die so I definitely feel like I went above and beyond. Hopefully I'm not sore tomorrow. Usually I'm not sore. Just when I walk, sometimes I feel it, but let's pray I'm not that sore. But I'm gonna go home and get ready for work. I need a shower for sure before I go. And yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed that workout if you followed along with it, or if you're going to do it later, I hope you enjoy it, cause it was a good one for sure. This is future Amanda editing the video for the glute focus exercise and I just realized I never filmed past leaving the gym for my workout. Um, so I ended up just going home for a couple of minutes and eating some dinner and then I went to work and that's basically the entire day. Like I think around this time it was like 2 um, and I have to be at work by 4 so not much was missed. 
but yeah I hope you guys have a fabulous day and I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you guys definitely enjoyed that glute workout because I felt it the next day but not too bad but I did feel it um but yeah I'll see you guys in the next video bye guys <laughs>